let's talk about principles of interior design and then five rules of thumb to help guide you. First, I'm gonna tell you formal design principles I learned in college through my master's degree. And then I'm gonna tell you five rules of thumb that I uh, have learned in practice. First, let's talk about balance. Balance is, a, is about creating visual harmony with the elements in the room. You can think about this in terms of, for example, symmetry. When something is equally balanced on one side and the other. Another is radial balance. For example, when something is balanced on one single point, like a dining room centered around a chandelier. The second design principle is unity. Within unity, you can think about it in terms of a unifying factor that brings everything together. For example, a unifying color scheme. The third design principle to think about is rhythm. What is a repeated thing throughout the space that can allow the brain to recognize pattern? One you're commonly familiar with, I'm sure, is a repetition of light fixtures hanging over a kitchen island, for example. You can also think of it in terms of a color that's repeated around the space or patterns that exist in the space. The next design principle is emphasis. There has to be a moment of hierarchy in the space, meaning one moment in the space that's more important than everything else. If you think about a common thing you've experienced is a movie theater. The screen in the movie theater is the moment of hierarchy, the moment of emphasis, wherein everything in the theater focuses and faces the screen. In a home, that can look like the headboard wall or the bed as the focal point point feature hierarchy of the room. Or in the bathroom, often the tub or the vanity is that hierarchy moment. The next design principle to consider is contrast. Contrast means that there are opposites in the space. Contrast can happen by way of color. You can think of a space as blacks and whites or by way of positive and negative in space. For example, in this picture, you can see how there's a lot of furniture in one area of the space and then no furniture in another area of the space, creating contrast between positive and negative. The next design principle to consider is scale and proportion. This is about the size of everything in the space relating to each other. So if you think about a dining room table, for example, generally all the chairs are the same size relevant to the size of the table. A high table means higher chairs, a lower table means lower chairs. You can play with size and proportion by doing things on purpose that are different, like head chairs at the dining room table being much bigger than the side chairs. All in all, the size sizes of things want to have a relationship with each other and the size of the room that they're inside of. And finally, the design principle of details. Details all want to point back to the overall space concept. So if you have a very feminine, soft, light colored mood and, and concept for a room, the details will also want to be light and soft. If the details in that room are harsh and spiky and, and dark colored, they might feel like they don't fit in. So think about the details in concert with the rest of the room. Now, the five rules of thumb to help guide you. Rule of thumb number one. One thumb, get it? <laughs> Rule of thumb number one is, what is the overall mood that the space wants to have? If the space wants to feel happy, how does the furniture feel happy and the color scheme feel happy? Rule of thumb number two, go with your gut. If something feels right or you just love it, then it's right. And rule of thumb number three, <laughs> you're gonna wanna stick to three colors. So one color will be most of the things in the space. The second thing will be some of the things in the space. And then the third color, you guessed it, will be a few things in the space. Rule of thumb number four. <laughs> You know the old adage from a wedding that something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue? Apply that same principle to designing a space. Something old, ideally, preferably an heirloom from the client. Something new, obvious. Something borrowed could look like from a borrowed time period, maybe. And then something blue, meaning like one thing in the room that's like not the color that matches everything else. Rule of thumb number five. <laughs> You're gonna wanna include in a space small, medium, and large scaled patterns. How do you do that? Maybe, for example, the sofa or the furniture has a small scale patterned fabric. Maybe the curtains have a medium scale pattern and the rug has a large scale pattern. But every space should have small, medium, and large present. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.
No, it's only one thumb this time. Give it a thumbs up and like it. If you're looking to grow your interior design business, come on over to biographicaldesign.com.